Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for December 22nd of 2023 is titled 183 Days in the Sun. So what do we see here? Well, let's zoom in a little and take a look at this. And what we see here is a 183 day photo. So this is an exposure using what's called a pinhole camera. So a very simple device to be able to point and just leave it there for this entire time. And what it does is actually record in this case the position of the sun over the course of every day for about six months. And in this case we see that this was done back in 2022 and we see the summer solstice at the top that was on June 21st of 2022 and we see the winter solstice on the bottom. Now what does this tell us? Well this shows us the changing position of the sun over the course of the year from this location which happens to have been in Portugal. Now what we see is that the sun will be much lower in the sky all day in December in this case for the northern hemisphere it will be very low in the sky so you watch it there in December it rises reaches a very low high point and then sets again very quickly and we know that we know that the winter days are very short by comparison to the summer days the sun takes a much shorter path through the sky and never gets as high in the sky and those two things combine to give us our seasons for one, we have shorter amount of daylight so that the sun is not shining for as long. And it's also much lower in the sky. So the sun's rays hit us at a much shallower angle, uh, making them less efficient in terms of heating up Earth's surface. So that's one we see that for the winter. And that is why winter is colder than summer. And here we see in the summer up on June 21st here that the sun was very high in the sky at its highest point and that its path was much longer taking a very long path in the, through uh, through the sky. Now we know that from experience that in the summer that the sun is up for a longer time and we have more hours of daylight than we do of darkness. And in the winter we have the opposite far more hours of darkness than we do of daylight. So we can see those changes which are really what gives us our seasons. And these are both called caused by the axial tilt of the Earth. The Earth happens to be tilted about 23 and a half degrees from being perpendicular. Uh, so it's tilted at a little bit of an angle. And that gives us that causes these two things to occur. It causes the sun's position in the sky to change, which affects how directly the sun's rays hit us and the amount of daylight that we get. Now today happens to be the winter solstice for much of the world, the start of winter time. And that will occur at two, uh, sorry, three hours and 27 minutes universal time. So that occurs early morning hours. However, for those farther west of the uh, meridian of going through Greenwich, England, it will actually occur on the previous day. So for those in say North America, it will actually occur later on December the 21st. And that's when the sun will hit its lowest point in the sky. And then we'll start getting higher and higher again over the coming months as we head into spring just three months away. So that was our picture of the day for December 22nd of 2023. It was titled 183 Days in the Sun. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.